Hey guys, it's Cookie Cat back with another video. So today, I'm going to teach you how to draw hands. Now, you don't need to do this digitally to follow along. You can also have paper with you and a pencil. I recommend not using pen because you can't erase pen. Unless you have an erasable pen, that's fine. So, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, to start off this tutorial, I want to start off with this question. Why are hands so hard to draw? A lot of artists has hard times drawing the hands, especially me. And the reason is that the hand has so many joints. I took a picture of my hand to demonstrate, to demonstrate why. S because there's a joint here, joint here, joint here joint here joint here and so on there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen there's fourteen joints here unless you want to um count the rest i mean like it's fifteen there is fifteen or fourteen joints in all well fifteen including the rest fourteen not including the rest so the the fingers can go like um they can bend at um any angle well not every angle but inwards you know and that's why they are so hard to draw and i'm going to teach you the basic anatomy of the hands okay so how to draw the hand i'm basically going to draw the hand based on this um picture but it's going to be flipped like that i couldn't do my um i couldn't take a picture of my um right hand because uh i mean my right hand because i'm yeah i'm a righty so um i hope you understand so let's just put that photo up there and let's draw so first, you need to to um draw a circle. Since I'm since I can't draw a perfect circle, I'm just going to um use a ruler for this one. So let's do a different color because I don't want to confuse you guys. And just draw any size circle. And you might be asking, hey, how long does this does the um fingers have to be? If you're drawing a normal hand, um, it's basically the height of the circle that you just drew. So basically to help you, you might want to draw the same circle again. I'm going to delete this and um, I'm going to cheat. But um, I'm going to cheat here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. I'm, I feel... I feel so guilty right now just doing this. So basically, the ratio of this is 1 to 1. Okay? Just just wanted to point that out. And the middle finger is going to be the tallest. So it is going to be the middle. So the, um, the ring finger... Actually, the ring finger is going to be, um, this is the ring finger, I think. A pointer finger, index finger, I don't know what it's called. But this finger is taller than this finger right here. So, we are out of this um, line right here. The, um, this finger is going to be, um, a bit taller than the um, line here and wait just want to use a different color so you can understand this finger here is going to be shorter than the line uh, sorry guys I'm so bad at explaining stuff okay that's good and the pinky finger which is right here as you know of is going to t be halfway through the um 
um, and the middle finger. Why is it slanted? I don't want to cheat anymore because I feel like it's already illegal. Just do that and draw out the... That is the most perfect line I ever done. And for the thumb, which as you know again, is this finger here. So how to draw out the thumb? I'm not going to use the ruler for this, okay? So, first you need to draw a circle, and um, if you this is optional, but um, you can draw um a line just to help you out a bit. Well, I'm not really gonna do that. And now let's um, let's trace out the hand. <laughs> Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. your finished hand well it will look something similar to this at least okay so now we'll talk about how the genders affect the hands I'll give you three seconds to figure out what is the cause of it like what's the difference between the girl hand and the boy hand starting now Okay, time is up, and if you didn't figure it out, the the answer is between the fingertips, which is right here. I'll use the thumb for, ex for the example for now. So as you can see, the um, male hand is more bulkier, as in the female female fingertips. The reason is that um, the sharpness contributes to the long finger uh, fingernails on it in the fingertips because sometimes females really have um, long fingernails and fingertips I hope that um, kind of makes sense <laughs> okay now for the last section how the age affects the hand so um the pictures that i just got it was from a book i had and because i got too lazy to draw out the um hands and i'm not good of um a like drawing characters in different ages i can only draw characters in like the teens and adults <laughs> i'm so sorry so basically if you if you're um if your character is a baby you're your, the hand is going to be more chubby, so the bones and joints aren't very defined, as you can see here. But when it's an old person, they have less flesh. It, it's bony and it's more wrinkled, and the bones are really defined. You can see a joint here, 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 while with the baby, you can't really see the joints at all, S except for the thumb. You can kind of see the joint there. So, yeah, basically that's how you draw old and baby hands. I just wanted to fit that in, cause it somehow affects the, the, age too. The hands, the age affects the hands. <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching and following along my tutorial this is my first one and i really appreciate it if you got through the end <laughs>
Yeah, I'm really bad at explaining things and stuff, and even teaching. I'm so bad. But anyways, please like and subscribe, turn on the notifications if you want more, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And just letting you know, this is probably going to be my first and last tutorial. Let's see if I feel like it in the future. But see ya! Thank <laughs> you.